I noticed your filter, your coffee filter, is already wet. Yeah, I like to pre-wet my filters to kind of take some of the way a little bit of the papery taste. Uh, it also helps to preheat the cone since it's ceramic and cold, and it helps to preheat the craft too. So you, you're going to brew hot coffee into something that's already preheated and warm. All right, let's go to work. Show me how you do it. All right. So I've always ground my coffee fresh, which I just did moments ago. Whole bean coffee grinded at home. Absolutely. And I like to weigh out my ground coffee. The standard recipe is 1.5 to 2 grams per ounce. Now at home, would we really do this or would we eyeball how much to put in the coffee filter and pour? And how dangerous is that for ruining our cup of coffee? You're not going to ruin your cup of coffee. Um, I typically recommend about a tablespoon per cup. I typically like a total brew time of about two minutes. All right. So the water's already hot? Water's hot and boiled just off boil. My water temperature should be between 195 and 205. Okay, that sounds reasonable. We can do that at home. Not too cool, but not scalding hot either. Why don't I just fill the filter up with water and let it, let it percolate on down like we were trained to do? Well, there's a lot of uh, fresh gases inside of this coffee because it was just roasted yesterday. Mm -hmm. Coffee uh, naturally has a lot of gases in it, and especially after that dynamic roasting process. And when you begin to brew the coffee, you'll notice that bloom happen. It's best to find a coffee that will have a roast date on the bag so you know when the coffee's roasted. The closer you can get to the roast date, the better to really ensure that freshness. And if you're a coffee person, you're willing to go through all of this work for yeah. this one cup of coffee. Yeah, absolutely. This is the final step in the chain. This is arguably one of the more important parts because you can have a fabulous, amazing coffee that the farmer raised and took care of. And here at the roastery, they roasted well. Um, but if I don't brew it properly, I can really destroy everything that happened before that. So You make me feel really lazy about making coffee. I think the more you get into coffee, just like any food, uh, you get really into preparing foods. You know, if, you're, if you grill at home, you know, you really enjoy working with the coals and understanding your food. Coffee's the same way. Um, just kind of becomes a little bit of a passion project. And it's a lot of fun.